So NanoBanana has taken the internet by storm and rightfully so, it's an incredible model. But what a lot of people are missing is how good it is at creating 3D images. But on top of that, what I did was I created this automation, which is complete no code, where all you have to do is click on execution workflow. This is going to pull up this form where you'll just put an image description and then choose a screenshot. You click on submit and this is going to process the workflow. As you can see, it's pretty amazing. It creates this really cool 3D rendering of this object with capturing all of the different details. So this is just for the product, uh, obviously example. You could do this, for example, for e-commerce, so you can have a lot of use cases. Now here's a few other that I created. So this was an image of the Colosseum uh, in Rome. So what I did was I just basically prompted the nano banana model to create kind of this rundown uh, apocalyptic uh, image of 3d image of rome or Colosseum. i mean it's pretty fantastic the details and even the inside of course like you can uh, prompt this better and create even better models this is a complete no code solution meaning that when you click on execute workflow this is going to pull up this form you put the description of the image and this is where kind of the prompting comes in that i'm going to talk about and then afterwards you choose a file whether there's a screenshot whatever it may be and it's going to, once you click on submit, this is going to go ahead and enhance the image and create a separate 3D image with Nano Banana. And then it's going to go ahead and generate the model using Tripo 3D, which I'm going to explain what these are and how to connect them. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to walk you through and you can use this for a lot of different industries, whether it's architectural drawing for like the engineering firms or creating e-commerce product, 3D or action figures or whatever it may be. This is a really cool no code solution. All right, so without wasting too much of your time, let's jump right into the video. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Zubair. I run the AI workshop community where we provide everything you need to create these amazing automation workflows for businesses or for personal use. Uh, we provide all of the information that you will see here. Most importantly, the NADN blueprint where you can just download this and you can go back to your NADN, click on these three dots. You can import from file, bring over this workflow and all of these assets will be brought over without any issues for you. So then all you have to do is click on execute workflow and have this automation run for you. Uh, most importantly, we provide provide our tech support for each of these threads. So that way, if you ever get stuck, uh, you can ask us any question and my team and I will work with you to resolve all your issues. And then of course we have, you know, NADN for beginners, uh, voice AI, earn with NADN. We have a bunch of different courses there that you can check out. I'm going to put the link in the description. Hopefully you, I'll see you inside. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with a quick demo. And then we're going to go ahead and walk through each node and see how this thing is working. All right, so I'm going to click on execute workflow. So what this is going to do is this is going to generate this uh, form. It's going to pull up this form. There's two inputs here, the image description, and then the image file that we can input. So let's go ahead and actually um, bring in a screenshot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google Maps. I kind of like that uh, pyramid. So let's go ahead here. I'm going to remove these labels so that way it's a bit cleaner. There you go. All right. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and let's go ahead and take a screenshot of this. So I'm going to take a screenshot right there. So now what we could do is go back to our NADN here. So let me start this again. So I'm going to click on execute workflow now and choose that file. So let's go ahead and grab that screenshot. There you go. That's the one. So now I'm going to go ahead and just explain a quick image description. So I just said create a 3D rendering of the attached image at uh, the Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, include the uh, details of the surroundings. So something simple like this. And like I said, we can uh, work on the prompt later on. But as soon as I click on submit, so what this is going to do is this is going to submit this form with all the details. So we're going to upload this into our Google Drive and then uh, the describe image node from OpenAI is going to examine all of the details of this node. And then, of course, the Nano Banana is going to create a separate image, uh, a 3D image of this screenshot because this was just a screenshot. Right. Um, and then afterwards, we're going to reach out to Tripo 3D. So let me go ahead and show you what this is. So the Tripo 3D is a uh, image to 3D model. So this is the studio. So as you can see right here, you can actually create, I'm not, this is not a sponsored video. It's just a, one of the models that I've used, um, and which works pretty great. So the studio, obviously you can create better images and I'm going to show you that option as well. But essentially, uh, this, you can upload a screenshot, you can upload an image and this will convert it to a 3D object as you can see right here. So this is the studio version, but I'm using the API, uh, through file.ai. 
and this is the endpoint that I'm reaching to. This is the tri Tripod 3D uh, version 2.5 image to 3D. Uh, so all of the information that is inside this automation right here is going to be reaching out to that particular endpoint. So let's go ahead and go through each node now. So on the form submission, again, it's pretty simple. This is just submitting that form after that uh, um, screenshot and after the um, image description is uploaded. We're uploading this into our Google Drive. Uh, what we're doing is grabbing the image from here and uploading it to a place, to a folder in our Google Drive so that way our um, automation can have access to it via link, right? Because it needs to be hosted somewhere. So this is a pretty simple node. Um, and the way to do that, obviously, is just you click on the plus button here. If you search for drive and the Google Drive node will come up here. Um, and then afterwards, I'm using this uh, describe image node by OpenAI when I'm just telling, hey, analyze the given image for a 3D modeling potential return analysis in the YAML format. So we're just capturing and grabbing all of the details of the image that it's uh, that the user has uploaded. So this is the prompt that we're using. And the URL is going to be the web content link, which is basically that image that got uploaded into our Google Drive. So afterwards, this is going to output all of the information about what the image is all about, the details and everything else. And then on the next note, we're grabbing um, all the details from that uploaded image and telling this AI agent to create a um, 3D object or a 3D image using Nano Banana of the uploaded image, right? So I'm just saying your task is to create an enhanced 3D ready image prompt for Nano Banana. Make sure that the enhanced image call is optimized for 3D model. And this is the description of the image that we're just grabbing from our uh, on form submission here, right? So that's the description right there. And then obviously the image file that we uploaded into a Google Drive. And this is the description of that image from our previous node. Afterwards, the system prompt is just telling this to create a 3D optimized image. Uh, and what this is doing is giving it all of these different guidelines. So it needs to enhance the depth perception, the dimensional clarity, um, and then also make sure that the shadows, the prospect, the dimension, everything is designed or aligned for a 3D model rendering. So this is what this whole kind of detail prompt looks like. Um, and then afterwards, this is going to just create this prompt called image prompt, which is basically based on these instructions that we provided. So create a detailed 3D rendering of the bent, bent pyramid of G at Giza with enhanced depth perception and all of that good stuff, right? So that's what's doing. This uh, is just basically creating a prompt for our nano banana. We have an output structure parser. This is just to control the output because we just want just one image prompt and this should be a string. As you can see, that's exactly what that does. Of course, we're uh, providing an open AI chat model and then the create image. So we're reaching out to file.ai uh, to nano banana to have uh, to upload the image here, right? So this is the description of the image and then the image URL is basically, so if I uh, move this, there you go. So this is the prompt that we just generated from our image prompt. And then obviously the image URL is going to be the one that we uploaded on Google Drive. So afterwards, this is gonna go ahead and send that information request to file.ai to Nano Banana. And as you can see, this says in queue. And then afterwards we have a wait note. So I'm just putting a 20 second wait note. So that way this thing gets processed. And then the next note, same thing. I'm reaching out to Nano Banana again to, or to file again to grab this image. So if I copy this and paste it into a new browser, you will see that there you go. It creates this 3D rendering of that image right there of that screenshot with the shadows and everything else captured, right? So you can see all of the details are pretty, pretty fantastic. And that's what Nano Banana is really good at. It's just capturing all of those details. Of course, this doesn't have a lot of color. So maybe it's not the greatest example, but you can see that it creates a, a 3D rendering of it, right? A really good 3D rendering of it. So afterwards, what we're doing is, um, after the image is produced, now we're reaching out to Tripo 3D model optimizer. So same thing, we're just grabbing uh, the description of our, we're grabbing the image that was created by Nano Banana. And then now we're saying, hey, based on this particular image that you have and the description, this is the system message that we're providing to Tripo 3D model generation optimizer. So we're saying now create a, um, uh, basically a prompt or a output that's going to be optimizing all of the information that's coming in from our previous nodes that we're going to send to our Tripo 3D. Uh, and the important things are the texture quality, 
the PBR enabled, the face limit. These are all of the different parameters, all of the different things that is required in order for us to create that 3D model. So this is the output that we're determining, and these are the different, uh, um, based on the image that has been uploaded, these are the different outputs that will come. Obviously, we want to create the highest format, which is HD, and then the face limit essentially determines how many different angles it should uh, create that 3D image from. So afterwards, uh, we're going to send this information to our uh, Tripod 3D API. So that's what we're doing. We're sending the image URL, uh, URL, the face limit, and everything else. And then afterwards, we're doing another wait uh, to make sure that, um, or we're putting a wait to make sure that we're waiting for that process or that generation to be completed. I'm putting 150 seconds. Uh, and then afterwards, we are going to just send another Git request to be able to grab that information. And this is the output that comes in. So right here, as you can see, this is the output from that model. So the URL is going to be um, this PBR model is the URL that I'm going to grab. So if I grab this, copy this, paste it here, this is going to automatically download that there you go. So you see it downloaded this particular 3D image here. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring it up. And there you go. So let's see. There you go. So now it uh, grabbed that image here for us, right? Like as you can see, it has the details captured there, including the pyramid and then the bottom. So this is where, like I said, I mean, I just put a very quick description. Obviously, this is going to gen not generate that great of a uh, 3D model from a short description, but you can put a longer description and have it generate a more uh, robust picture or with more detail, right? So that's what kind of the output looks like. And this is the file that you can download. Obviously, if you want kind of like a better quality one, so like something like this, um, it could be even further enhanced. So you can do this directly from, uh, from the studio itself. So for instance, uh, if you go to studio.tripo3d.ai, uh, you can actually grab, so for instance, let's say I have these images here, right? Whether it's this one or this one, let's say, right? So this is one of the images that Nano Banana created. So what we're doing is we can just essentially grab that right here. Let me get rid of this image to 3D, grab that, and this time we can Okay, there we go. So I just cre uh, clicked on that or added that image right there. So then uh, obviously they, they give you free version, but um, if you want the HD text to be uh, enabled, then you need to upgrade, but that's fine. You can try the, the free version as well. But once you add that image, you click on generate and this is going to go ahead and generate the um, that particular 3D model for you after a couple of minutes, it takes a couple of minutes because obviously 3D, 3D rendering takes a little bit. So as you can see on the right hand side, it says 124 seconds remaining, but I created a bunch of other ones here earlier. So let me go back to this one. This was one of the ones that I created without HD. As you can see, it's kind of like missing the different details, but let's go ahead and let this thing process. Uh, but essentially, like I said, you can either do it through here or you can do it through the API. Obviously with the API, it's going to be a lot easier because it's like a full automation, but you have the option if you see that um, you don't like the quality of the API, then you can always try this to do yourself. But the goal is to try to utilize Nano Banana to create kind of the um, the 3D image of it based on the uploaded image that you have from a user perspective. And then afterwards, you can always play around with the APIs or with uh, the studio here to be able to create these 3D renderings. And another great thing is like this is good at objects too. So for example, I was trying kind of this uh, action figure last time. As you can see, I just uploaded the screenshot of Spider-Man and I told it to uh, create a 3D rendering of it. So it did a pretty decent job, but this is because this was an action figure that I just got from Google. So the more detail you provide, obviously, the better the output is going to be. So feel free to try around and play around with it. Obviously, this is uh, just kind of the beginning. As you can see right here, they say they have an uh, Ultra one coming up. So I'm going to try that out later on. Another thing is for uh, through file.ai, if you just go and search for 3D, they have another one. I believe uh, called uh, Hanuan 3D. This is another uh, image to 3D model that you can check out. Um, I tried it and um, they're kind of similar to be honest, they're kind of similar to each other. So feel free to check that out. 
There's another one, tri Tripos SR. I haven't tried this to be honest, but uh, I'm sure you can take a look at this as well and um, play around with these different models, see which one gives you the best option. Anyways, hopefully you found that helpful. I'm gonna actually try to do another one on this as well with other 3D models because this was a very interesting one and kind of like a really fun one to kind of play around. Uh, so feel free to check out. And of course, like I said, if you have any questions or if you want to uh, learn the basics and have tech support, if you get stuck on email, please feel free to join the community. We also have an Earn with N8N automation course, which is basically launching your AI agency or learning how to learn your first clients. So feel free to check that out. I'm going to put the link in the description. We also recently released a voice AI course and a voice AI certification, which voice AI is a super exciting um, part of the AI industry that's blowing up right now. So feel free to check that out. Hopefully I'll see you inside the community. Make sure you like and subscribe because I've got a lot of content that you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.